Britain doesn't want Brexit. Polls consistently show that most voters in Britain think it was wrong to leave the European Union. What's more, the polling has been replicated with similar results by multiple pollsters over a long period of time. As polling guru Sir John Curtis said, it appears that Brexit has not survived the test of time at all well, so far as voters' evaluations of its success are concerned. The government and the right-wing media have consistently said that the mandate for doing Brexit was the 17.4 million people who voted for it. But since the referendum on 23rd of June 2016, support for Brexit has rapidly declined. There are no longer 17.4 million Leave supporters and haven't been for years. Today, support for Brexit is the lowest it's been since the referendum. Brexiters claim that the 2019 general election gave them a renewed mandate for Brexit, but that won't wash. In the 2019 general election, most voters did not vote for the Tories. In the 2019 general election, most voters voted for parties that wanted another referendum on Brexit. Our antiquated and arcane system of voting has returned results that are not representative of the people. If, after the referendum, successive Tory Prime Ministers had asked the electorate if they still wanted Brexit, they would have discovered that the answer is no. They've been too scared to ask because they know what the result will be. That's why the Tories won't offer us a new vote on Brexit. But neither will Labour leader Keir Starmer, who said the debate on Brexit is over. So, it's now a case of supply and demand. If our political leaders won't supply a new democratic opportunity to reconsider Brexit, then we, the people, must demand one.